Welcome back everybody. I recently won an online auction of mostly Snap-on tools. I paid $174 to the door. That includes any sort of taxes, fees, and shipping. So let's take a look to see what I won. Okay, I figure we just go through these one by one. There are four or five pieces of Mac in here. This first one is actually a Mac. Uh, this is a half inch S99. Now, that part number is not familiar to me. This wrench looks like it's modified, like somebody did it at their home, but I would be willing to bet that it's not actually modified. Next up we have a Snap-on 87. This is the vacuum grip uh, handle. And this is a side cutter, dykes, whatever you like to call them, I guess. It looks like they're a little bit ground on. Oh, it doesn't seem like it would affect the functionality, but uh, yeah, for some reason somebody seems to have ground off a little bit there. I doubt they came with that heavy scratching new. Next out of the box, we have this round head. Uh, snap-on ratchet so the round head on the older ones is a fine tooth ratchet this is a snap-on 749 I will admit that I burned myself on this auction you should always read the description I know that I've been hundreds of auctions I know I should do that um, after I received this I went back to look to see what I paid so I could announce it in the beginning of the video and I looked through the description real quick and there's a few ratchets in here and they say that they're all broken. First one out of the box here uh, doesn't grab in either direction. And I tried to shift it in either direction and nothing grabs. It's completely loose. There's so many times where these old ratchets just need to be cleaned and serviced. But there's also the great possibility that this thing is uh, completely stripped out. And with a ratchet like this, I doubt you can still buy a kit for it, but I could be wrong. All right, next we have a Snap-on SSD2. It's a flat tip, obviously. It looks like somebody ground on it. So, so I, I'm not doing so hot so far as far as having good tools come out of here. Um, one may be modified, and uh, three other ones either broken or ground on. All right, next up we have a SS, what, no, SDD P42. Just your standard uh, number two Phillips. Yeah, it looks like we have a... Looks like we have a three-quarter inch socket here. It's a seven-eighths, three-quarter inch drive, 12-point, snap-on, of course. Next up, we have a snap-on F71C. This is the signature edition. This is the one that has that flat profile as part of the handle. I'm not sure what year this is without looking up the date code, but I think they only had that for a couple of years. Then they went back to the round again. This one uh, seems to work in both directions. It does seem like it needs a cleaning. This is the one that has the oil port in the head. I'm going to have to look up what year that is, but I should be able to bring that one back. Next up we have this uh, flat tip, snap-on of course, uh, handle is so worn I can't make it out, but tip, I mean, it's missing some chrome, a little rusty, but it's not ground at least. Next up we have this uh, 3A drive. I don't know if the first two letters here are BE or something like that, um, whatever they are, it's a 720. Um, this is another one that's not working. Uh, it's not really. You hear? I just went back and forth in both directions with, <laughs> without changing gears. Uh, just from running it by hand, it does feel like uh, good cleaning would probably make it work again. But uh, this is another signature edition. I actually see it signed on both sides. I don't know if that makes it worth more, but uh, but these little guys are handy. So I'll clean that one up. See if I can't get it working again. I'll probably do some videos on taking these apart and cleaning them and, and seeing if I can't uh, get them working again. Because if I can't, I definitely pay too much for this lot. This is my own fault. You get a little complacent, I guess. You, you bid enough auctions and most times uh, you don't have three or four ratchets that are broken. And I was maybe a little rushed and just not paying attention. And I tell you what, this is a good time to learn from my mistakes. Because if I had known that all these ratchets were needing some sort of repair... I would not have bid as much on this lot. Uh, next we have a OEX 140, which should be a 7 16th. 
looks like it's in pretty good shape. We have another snap on here. This is the open end flare nut. It's a 5 ace. Obviously worn. That has a pretty old date stamp there. Uh, best guess is that is a 55, if that's a 5. Next up we have a half inch combo wrench. A little bit of corrosion on it, but uh, still pretty usable wrench. And we have one of these uh, Midget M70M. Well, let's focus on there. Midget M70M. Now I think, and I could be wrong, I think this could be, what was it, the 930 seconds? So this one actually is just a quarter inch. I just tested it with a quarter inch socket. I do know some around this era are the 930 seconds. I think those are usually military issue. Um, this one, I think that's probably the date stamp there. It's harder to see what it is. I can't get that to focus on there. Oh, it's kind of focused there. We have another one of these uh, open end, flare nut end. Can't make out the size of the 3 eighths. This has that same date stamp, so I'll look that up and throw it up on the screen. These um, are definitely old. As you can see, the, the finish is very tarnished. I also have some regular combination wrenches from this era that has that same look to the finish. Next, we have a Snap-on 11 sixteenths. It's a 12-point with a half-inch drive. All right, first out of the Mac wrenches, we have a 5 sixteenths. This is the open end with the flare wrench side. Then we have an 8 millimeter combination with a 6 point box end. And last of those, we have a 5 16 by quarter. Yep. 5 16 by 1 quarter. Um, a little offset, maybe 15 degree offset box wrench. Next, we have an SSDP42. This is just another um, Phillips. Looks like the end's okay on that one. The handle's not so okay. Looks like someone's locked on it a few times with some different pliers. That's, uh, that's what I would use this for if I was needing that much extra force. But, you know, some people don't care about their handle, I guess. All right, next up we have this snap-on. Looks to be about a 6-inch extension. That part number FX6, so yeah, it's a 6-inch. And that's a 3 ace drive. Next out of the box, we have what looks to be a 5 sixteenths combination wrench. All right, next up we have a quarter-inch combination wrench. This is a signature series. On both sides, again, I think uh, added value there, making sure it never comes off. And we have a snap-on half-inch 6.3 ace drive. Uh, an old, look at that date code, and this is an old snap-on 7 sixteenths. It's a 12.3 ace drive. Uh, let's see here, snap-on 5 sixteenths. I think, I think that's an owner stamp right there, that BS, so that's not part of the part number. That WF100 is definitely a strange number to me. Finally, out of that box, we have another one of these midget uh, M70Ms. I also try the quarter inch socket on this one, and yes, it's a quarter inch drive. This is this again is one that basically has no finish on it, no like chrome plating. It's marked with a G. Uh, I think that's going to probably go back to a government stamp. So this is likely a military issue, definitely a government issue. And this one's actually working great in both directions. So, let's see, I've got one that works pretty good, one that kind of works, one that might work, and a couple that are questionable. So if I can get all those ratchets to work, I think I still did okay, but uh, that's going to be all for this one. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.